a warning to all those wearing earbuds. There's a lot of wind in the background. Hi, y'all. Hello. We're in uh, wind on me. I mean, blow on me. Oh, wait. Wait. Fly on me. We are at a point of interest. It's a roadside attraction. It's um, very near Buford, Wyoming. Buford is the smallest town in America. It has a population of one. One. We're at Tree in the Rock, Wyoming. And there's a little bit of a story behind it. Part of the story on this tree right here is that it grows inside of a rock. A big boulder. And back in 1867, when the Union Pacific Railroad was coming through, the story is, is that they took a liking to the tree, they would water the tree, and they actually detoured the tracks to go around the tree. So they wouldn't have to knock the tree down out of the boulder. Well, then years later, it became like a wagon trail, and then the Lincoln Highway, and eventually to what it is now which is interstate 80 um, and when they brought the interstate through they divided the highway so you've got eastbound on one side westbound on the other and this is in the middle so in order to get to this you've got to use the left lane whether you're going east or west um, however there's no facilities at all there's a couple of trash cans but there's no restrooms there's no picnic tables it's just an area with the tree in it, in the rock, and a couple of signs. So here's one sign. There is a lot of really unique looking rock structures here, geological structures, I guess they would call it. And this sign explains those a little bit. The rock formations in Wyoming are just jaw-dropping beautiful. Right there. And there's some. There's some much closer. Oh, that's not a rock formation. That's Paul. So now we're going to walk up and look at the tree. The back of the tree. This sign talks a little bit more about the unique rock formations around the area. Right, so this one talks about this tree within this rock. I'm wondering if I can get up on this rock here. Oh my gosh, we just found a plaque. This tree was grown out of a crevice in the rock when the Union Pacific Railroad built its original main line 50 feet south of this rock in 1868. The fence and cable were provided by the Union Pacific Railroad Company at the request of the Historical Landmark Commission of Wyoming. So there's the cable. wraps all the way around. The cable just flows the rocks. And I got to 
tell you the tree just looks very wind battered. Another thing that, that they didn't put out here is they did put that the Union Pacific put the cable and this fence around the tree, but they didn't say when they did it. Be something worth looking into. We are working at trying to reduce our background noise. So we got a microphone that's closer to us and further from the background, but My now- The microphone is right here. Yeah, now we gotta fight the wind with it. It's I, a test in progress. Yeah, it's a test. It's a beautiful day in your neighborhood. Won't you be, won't you be, won't you be my umbrella? Is this good night? It does, we do have some rain clouds moving in. Yeah, we do. There they are. All right, y'all. That's all we got this week. That's all we got for today. We got... It's a pretty cool little place. We gotta roll, guys. You know, our load is hot, hot, hot. No rest for the weary and all that. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye, y'all. See you in the next video.